everyone and welcome to another video. It has been a while since I've done a cosplay video, but I am officially moved into my new house and I can do a cosplay video. Today I'm going to be doing a cosplay transformation. I am transforming into Corella Deville. I am going to go with the OG look of Corella Deville because that I think has got to be my favorite. Um, it's kind of going to be, um, you know, with what I have at home, like I'm going to be missing some elements, but makeup wise, I'm going to try my very best to do it. So let's go ahead and get started with this cosplay transformation, y'all. All right, let's do this. Alrighty, so first things first, I got to go ahead and put my hair up, right? So I'm going to go ahead and braid my hair so I can put it in under my hairnet. I always like to do this two side braids. My hair is really thin and then I just go ahead and use bobby pins to go ahead and pin my hair all the way around. Now I grabbed a wig cap that is good for the wig color that I'm doing. I have um, black or nude. I tend to choose what color I'm gonna go depending on that. Um, I'm looking for references now. So first you got to go ahead and prime your face. I'm priming my face right now. There's a bunch of different types of primers that you can choose from out there. And next I am applying a foundation that is of a lighter shade because Corella is a slightly lighter shade. Um, my face is lighter as well like my skin tone is super weird but I had this um, from a review that I had to do so um, it was perfect and this is the one I, I like to use for my Mavis as well so I'm spritzing some cons uh, some spreading sp setting spray spreading spray setting spray on there because it'll make it last a little bit better and I'm just making sure that I continue to spread it out all the way around most of my body is going to be covered so I should be okay um, with the color difference as you can tell it is slightly different there I am adding powder now onto my face this is just a little elf powder that's a uh, bronzer but I actually mix all four colors in which kind of evens out um, the skin tone a little bit there and doesn't make it as pale um, I am doing a lot of bronzer to go ahead and try to sink in my cheekbones um, which is also why I decided to go with more of a lighter um, foundation and I'm also going to go ahead and completely mask out my brows as you can see I'm using a brush and then I'm going and using a, um, a glue stick in there to go ahead and try to mask them out as best as possible you then gotta go ahead and use some uh, setting powder and you got to go ahead and put that all over on the eyebrows, uh, dabble them half and half to try to get them completely masked out. I'm now using some concealer to go ahead and completely conceal them and make them look like it's my skin tone. Um, this part is either pass or fail. Sometimes I get it correct, sometimes I don't. At this point, I actually did do a really good job and I felt like I, you know, I did an amazing job with it. Some people do it before. Um foundation but I realized that when you put a lot of foundation on top of it sometimes they actually get it flaky so that's kind of why I did it this way um, I'm not putting a bunch of foundation on top but just a little bit I know I like I'm reapplying it all over again but it was a lot of steps anyway I'm gonna go ahead and reconceal I tried to put just light foundation now it's a little bit even out um, yep like I said, really weird process. I didn't know if it was going to last. And sometimes I have had crumbly eyebrows. So I think I'm going to have to go back and do everything I was doing there. So I am going to go ahead and now do eyebrows. So because I masked out my eyebrows, I am doing the natural original Corella Deville from the cartoon style type movie. And I am just using a black liquid liner to go ahead and make these arched eyebrows and make them super thin um, how she has them. But also this whitens the eyelid as well. And now I'm adding some primer onto my eyelids because I'm going to have eyeshadow on there which will then make the natural eyelid a lot larger as you can see my natural brow is slowly starting to just blend in there even more when I go ahead and add this extra eye primer onto my eyes now I'm doing extra contour with um, my bronzer there 
And as you can see, I'm just going back in certain areas. I am referencing a picture because she does have a very thin face. So I'm really trying to get that thin face look and just kind of shape in my mouth area too, giving myself a little bit more wrinkles and making myself look a little aged. So you kind of just got to go by eye. Um, best way to go is by using your own cheekbones and your own face structure to kind of um, add that definition. And you can slowly tell that I'm starting to look completely different. So now I am using green to go ahead and do that natural green eyelid that she has. And this is just like a lime green. It is from my um lisa frank palette which is a really awesome palette uh it is very staining though so i am so glad that i did add the uh eye concealer the primer because it would have stained my eyes now to give myself more of that eye shape i am going and adding liquid liner around the eyeliner there which then gives the separation of these are eyebrows and these are my eyes and i'm applying red liquid lipstick to go ahead and give me the corella deville lips now that my makeup is pretty much complete there i'm gonna go ahead and do the liner i'm gonna go ahead and do a slight little wing nothing too major and i'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara to give myself a little bit of a flare there on the eyes doing top and bottom mascara as well as bottom eyeliner um, do a full black eyeliner on the bottom um, sometimes i just do half but i did do a full because you are going more for a cartoon and look and as you can see I just continue to add more bronzer because I am really really trying to sink my face in and give me that Corella DeVille old school look now now I am completely done so now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my dress I am just reapplying here real quick because I had an eyebrow that was uneven but I'm gonna go ahead and put my wig on and this is just a wig that I got on Amazon um, make sure to separate the little hair there as you can see I'm trying my best to separate the black from the white as best as I could and just have a little strip there and that is it this is my complete look and as you can see i actually did a really good job on making myself look like a completely different person when it came to my face structure and there i am cruella de Vail. everyone that marks the end of this cosplay transformation as Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. <laughs> But yes, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I had fun creating this look and I feel like I definitely gave myself a really different face structure. <laughs> Um, cause I'm looking at myself and I'm just like, whoa, I look like an animated character. And that's exactly the look that I was trying to give my face. So it worked out. Um, but I hope y'all liked this, this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. So glad to be back with cosplays every here and there as best as I possibly can be. Thank you so much again for watching. And don't forget to give me that thumbs up. All right. Bye everyone.